or help for the debug process. Um, so first, we're going to have an overview about um, the debug car and also the block diagram on your system level side and also the debug car block, block diagram. And then uh, we'll also talk about the baseboard and debug car hardware implementation um, and also the firmware implementation, uh, what we did and how this debug car can help for uh, simplify the debug process. Okay. So as you can see from the picture, the debug car connect to the system through a USB cable. Um, actually, uh, this is a USB 3 um, interface. Um, we remapped uh, the USB 3, uh, USB 3 signal to UR, I2C, and present pin. There are five signals remapped, but we're still keeping support USB 2.0. It means that um, when you plug the debug car, or when you plug the USB 3 device, that you will be downgraded to 2.0. Um, but this is to support the debug car. And um, as is a USB interface, so it's pretty easy to assess, even on top of the rack. And uh, also, on the baseboard side, the most important that it doesn't uh, occupy your I.O. space. So it saves some space and easy to assess through the USB. Um, this debug car is an involvement from Facebook previous generation, previous generation um, debug car, um, and um, it carries um, the features like the console. We have the wild, wild console and the wireless console. So in this debug car, we have a Bluetooth um, inside, so you can use the Bluetooth to connect it um, to laptop, uh, the console, show the console, and also the traditional um, seven segment. Um, postcode display. Most important that we have, we integrate a little LCD panel here to show some human readable debug information. So instead of just the hex code. Um, and uh, we designed this debug card as a general purpose. As long as you support it, you can customize your BMC firmware um, to show the debug message by your own needs. Uh, I will pass this around. Uh, you can check a, take a look. Make sure you don't take home because your current hardware doesn't support this. Uh. Okay, so this is a system level um, block diagram. So um, on this diagram, you can see the debug car on the right side and a baseboard on the left side. Uh, plug into the base, the debug car plug into the baseboard through the USB 3 interface. And the uh, USB 3 portion has been remapped and uh, we still have the USB 2.0 keeping uh, support. And uh, USB 3 uh, interface, we have the, we now remap to IPMB, uh, I2C bus, and the present pin, and the UR. Um, on the baseboard side, so two things are must. Uh, one is a BMC chip, the other is a GPL expander. So GPL expander here plays a role that uh, to have the A40, uh, 480 uh, hex call to deliver to the um, microcontroller on the debug car. So it's through the I2C interface. And the BMC is basically communicate with the debug car microcontroller um, to deliver the debug message uh, to be able to show on the debug car LCD panel. So this is a block diagram about this debug car. Um, basically, um, it has a three portion. So first one, the microcontroller. So once the signal coming into the microcontroller um, through the I2C interface, so microcontroller will show the message on the LCD panel, as well as the seven sigma uh, LED, pan, LED, LED. And um, the microcontroller also controls the buttons and uh, the LEDs um, of the debug car. And the other way, um, the other pair is the UR signal. So UR signal has two channels. One is to go to the wild, wild channel that we have uh, come to USB converter to, uh, to convert the UR signal to USB. There you, ha you are able to connect the, um, the UR to your laptop through the USB uh, cable. The other one is the uh, to the wireless one. So we have the UR to the Bluetooth module that you can, um, you can link to your laptop through the Bluetooth. And also we, have, we still have the USB 2.0 on the debug card that um, you can still plug in any device. 
So this is the placement about the debug car, the top side and the bottom side. So on top side, we have the reset button and um, the power button. So reset power button um, are used to, to power on and reset your server system. And um, we also have a UR select button that um, for the console, we, we can switch to BMC console or the host console through the UR select button. And uh, we also have a five-way button uh, to switch uh, left and right, to switch in different type of uh, debug information. Uh, we'll talk about more later on. And the up and down, and then to switch in different pages. Since the LCD panel is little, uh, so we may have multiple pages that you may go through. And uh, on the bottom side, we have the Bluetooth module. We have the USB 2.0. Poor. And uh, we also have a chargeable coin battery here. So the battery is used to, um, to support some case like, um, you know, in our data center, um, it's, it's kind of big. So once the technician service one of the server uh, down, it may take a while to walk to the next one. So in this case, if the Bluetooth is connected to the laptop, we want to keep, uh, keep the link on. So the, the battery is here to, to, uh, to keep the Bluetooth module on um, to, to support that it doesn't need to reconnect again uh, once to pack to another system. Um, so with the full charge, the battery can sustain two to three hours. And then whenever you plug into any USB, like your laptop USB port, you will start charging. And we also have a Bluetooth switch here that you can turn on or off your Bluetooth to save some battery. Okay, so let's talk about the hardware uh, implementation. So as I mentioned before, the USB 3 signal that you have to remap. So they are nice signal for the USB, pre USB 3 port. Uh, five of them are related to the USB 3. Uh, we remapped it to um, I square C present pin and the UR. And then there's a situation that you know the USB 3, uh, USB 3 signal voltage level is different from the UR or the I square C. So we, we have a situation that once you have the USB device plugged in, we want to make sure we have the right isolation to not to damage the device. So we use the present pin here um, to isolate the signal like by, by the present pin. For example, when USB 3 um, uh, device plugged in, the present pin will be zero, or like USB 2 or there's no device, the present pin will be zero. And then with the zero, we have the isolation that all the connection to um, the baseboard, uh, I square C or UR, they are disconnected. So we are ensure that your device is safe. Um, by the way, I will not talk about the details of the uh, schematic, but we full contribute this design so you can find the detailed information from the OCP um, group. Um, we have the design package there. Okay, so let's talk about the firmware. Um, for, for firmware communication, actually there are three roles uh, for, for the debug car. Um, communicate with the baseboard, uh, BMC microcontroller, and the GPL expander. We define the I square C address. Uh, BMC is zero uh, x twenty, GPL expander is zero x four echo, and uh, microcontroller is zero x sixty. So on your baseboard side, you have to make sure your BMC I square C address to communicate with the debug car. That port uh, use the right address to be able to communicate um, the with the microcontroller. So, um, okay, how this debug card can help our debug? Um, on our uh, server platform, uh, Tiago Pass, um, we designed some of the frames. We designed six frames so far to help for the debug process. Uh, so the postcode, system information, critical cell, critical sensor, GPIO status, or user setting. Um, these are these are development uh, with our server platform, um, Telco Pass. So we use the five-way button to switch in between different frames and up and down to switch different pages in a frame. Uh, let's talk about the details how uh, of each of the frame. 
post call. Um, at, I know engineers all use the traditional debug car, so there's only one um, a, poor 80, um, seven sigma LED there. So it always tell you a hex call. You have to go back to check your manual. Uh, what does this mean? So with this debug car, you will be able to show the debug uh, postcode description synchronously together with your um, postcode. And then the latest one shown on the top. And you can also um, allow the page up and page down to show your um, postcode history. And there's also one um, case that, um, for example, your memory has some issue and your system not able to boot. Uh, you, may, you may already uh, experience that situation that the both call is kind of looping. So we also integrate this kind of uh, pattern that um, the debug car will detect the looping call and tell you on the screen which CPU, which dim socket has issue, and then you go check it directly. This will help a lot in data center um, technician support. The second frame we development is the system uh, information frame. Um, so sometimes we want to check um, the system information, for example, what's the BIOS version, what's the BMC uh, firmware version for this platform. You just plug in the debug car, you will show you directly. Um, so we have developed some of the key features here, for example, the motherboard serial number, the motherboard um, PAN number, uh, BMC IP, BMC firmware uh, version, BIOS version, and your ME status, um, as well as the, some of the key system config information, for example, your CPU type, your memory type. Uh, these are all information from the BMC. So we already have the interface um, development that um, once you plug the debug car, BMC will send the information to your debug car and then to show you. And uh, a last, uh, one last thing I want to add is the battery. Uh, the system information will also show like how much battery you have and then you may um, charge the battery in case you want to use the Bluetooth a lot. Okay. So next frame um, is the critical cell um, frame. So critical cell is some of the cell that we predefined on the BMC side, and you are able to get from the BMC and then to show here. Um, we did some a little bit more than the, the cell lock. Um, so for example, when there is a device has error, for example, you have a memory corrective error, um, it's, it will not only tell you which CPU, which DIMM has the memory, um, it will not tell you, you you have memory error, but it will also tell you which CPU, which memory DIMM has the error. And uh, for example, there is some event, um, as a picture show here, there's some, for example, your system processor hall happened, triggered, and then this debug card will tell you which source, who triggered the uh, processor hot. So it will, it will tell you some more information other than um, just the critical cell here. And um, the last um, um, example I want to give is a power fail. So sometimes the system doesn't boot. Yeah, it has some power failure there. And then the postcode just show FF or zero, zero. So the traditional uh, debug car will not help you anymore. But with this debug car, uh, we development the way that how this can help you. It will help you. You will to tell you. will tell you that oh, your motherboard 1.2 volt is not on yet. So you can just go and check it. So how how can we do this? Uh, we development some of the um, all the power sequence state machine in our CPRD code, and then we have the I square C bus in between the CPRD and the BMC. So BMC is able to get all the power sequence state machine from each of the power rail and tell the debug car to show you. So this is really a powerful debug car. I would say BMC. Um, BMC can do a lot. The debug car is just a platform to show this information out. Okay, so um, the next frame we development is the sensor. Uh, we predefined some of the sensor um, we care a lot. Uh, for example, the CPU temperature, uh, the hot swap controller power, the fan speed, 
um, CPU uh, power consumption, dim temperature. We predefined some of the key information we really care, uh, and then let the debug card to get the information and then to show it out. So once you plug in, so you can see what's your system power consumption, what's your um, CPU temperature. So it's really easier to get this information. Okay, so next page is a GPIO status. Um, this is um, the GPIO, they're all from the GPIO expander I mentioned earlier. Um, so the GPIO that you can base on your needs and then to connect, um, there are, I think there are eight uh, G, uh, GPIO left um, for that G, uh, GPIO expander. So you can, uh, based on your design, to connect to the GPIO and then the debug car is able to get the GPIO information and then show you here. So you may have question that how the debug car know what the signal I connected. Um, this is also a communication with the BMC because your BMC will know because you designed the board. So BMC will send um, the GPIO expansion to the debug car and the debug car will show it out. Is this a time check? No, okay. somebody's looking for their phone. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. So last page uh, is something uh, is still under developing. So we are trying to use the debug card to also can get into the BIOS setup menu and to change some of the key settings that we may care, uh, we may use a lot. For example, the power policy and the boot order. So you can go to the debug card and use the five-way button and then to switch it to the um, power policy you want the option that you want to go or the boot order which which um, boot device you want to go so this is something we're still in developing and we are collecting feedback to see how this is useful to our end user or the engineer or the um, technician data center okay um, the last page I want to make uh, want to so for the OEM commands, um, how BMC communicate with the um, debug car microcontroller with development um, about seven um, commands. And then we have all the details like uh, what the command and uh, what's the format uh, you may follow up to support this debug car. And these de details are all in the um, spec, in our OCP debug car spec. So you, you have all the details uh, through OCP group. Uh, you can download the spec and then check it. Uh, so basically the OEM command defines uh, the initialization. So whenever you plug in, there will be an initialization uh, process in between the BMC and the microcontroller on the debug car. And also you will get the postcode. So I, I guess different um, platform, the postcode description will be different. So the postcode package also inside of the BMC and then the microcontroller can get the postcode description and then show it uh, correspondingly. And uh, also the frame information, the GPL description, and then every couple of seconds you will refresh the uh, frame information, make sure that you always show the latest information on the LCD panel. All right, that's it about the debug car. So we contribute whole design um, to OCP group. Um, if you have interest, you can either contact me or contact the OCP group to see like how you can adopt the design um, or where to buy this hardware. Yeah, thank you. Any questions? Yeah. So you are debugger car totally depends on the BMC. Yeah. So if the BMC is working, why we just connect the network, then we show all the information. Why need the debug car? So uh, this is a sometimes, debug car. Um, yeah, good question. So this is a, another option that for you or the engineer to be more convenient to get the debug message. This is something really the engineer side that we are still developing the, the board. Uh, to show the information. And then, for, of course, that if your BMC is working, you can get all the information from a BMC, but a little bit more work, right? You have to connect to the BMC, and then you have to dump the information and analyze it. Yeah. Yeah, so then this replaces the old post connector? 
uh, the, the previous Facebook generation debugger is a 14-pin I/O connector, and then I we have new platform that all adopt to support this one. So we're going to yeah use this one uh, in the future. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Right. All righty. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, got another one. Okay. Sorry. Um, actually, on our server platform, we have um, we have this um, option. So our server platform on the front side, we have an arrow bit pin, arrow bit LED that will be highlighted. Um, you can easily find the platform. Yeah, so and then. All right. I, I this is a yeah. This is a good feedback. Um, I will think uh, how to hmm. how we can locate the debug car, like the iPhone Finder. <laughs> Great idea. I will say. All right, yeah. I guess that concludes all the sessions. Thanks, yeah. everyone.